everyone, it's me. I hope you can hear me. I had to put the camera so far away this time because I needed you to be able to see my whole body. Because this time, we're talking about my vital statistics. We've been seeing each other every week for six months. I thought it was about time you got to know, you know, the physical aspects of me. It's not like it's our first date or anything. There are lots of different variations what people think I looked like. You would think there were enough pictures of me they could remember. But I guess I have to clarify and clear everything up once and for all. My weight tended to vary between 118 and 140. And that might surprise you because everyone says I was a plus size model and I wore a 16. Well, guess what? I'm five foot five and a half. So sometimes my waist was as small as 22 inches. Here, like this. That's pretty tiny. It's not normal, I tell you. But in Hollywood it was at the time. I guess it still is. Anyway, 22 inches isn't very much. If you watch How to Marry a Millionaire, you'll get to see me at one of my thinnest points. And you know what? Even then I was self-conscious about my size. Because the other girls were so much thinner than I. Sometimes I was 22 inches. And sometimes, I was 25 inches. See? <sighs> it's a little harder than I thought. I guess it's been a while, and I've grown in so many ways. I've grown as an actress, and I've grown taller. People say I look thinner now. I was really thinner then, wasn't I? Up top, I know that's what the boys are waiting for. I ranged as well. Sometimes I was 34 inches. And sometimes I was 39 inches. Today, looks like 38. Oops. And my hips range too. Let me back up so you can see. Sometimes there were 36. Sometimes they were 39. We're at 37 today. One of my more famous private quotes that I said to my friends was that someday my tombstone would read M.M. 36, 24, 36. Well, even that quote gets misquoted sometimes. And I know you've heard quotes I never said. Sometimes they'd say 37, 22, 35. What? It's true. 35 inch hips. Well, those would be tiny. Other times they say 38, 23, 36. That sounds more like it to me. And I'm sure you've heard that awful quote that everyone says that I said when I supposedly said, if you're not a size zero, it's not you who is ugly. I do agree with the sentiment. I think you should love yourself no matter what you look like. But guess what? There's one thing about that quote that makes it completely impossible for me to have ever said it. And that's that size zero part. When I was really in my heyday, there was no such thing as a size zero. I invented size zero for Twiggy a lot later because she was so very thin. Clothes hung so well on her. If you're wondering what size shoe I wear, well, it's a seven. Actually, it's a 7AA, which used to mean narrow, but now shoes just really come in one size, 7. Or just 7 wide, they have that still, but they don't have 7 narrow anymore. I wonder why. Even though there are plenty of color photographs of me, people still disagree on what color hair I had. Some people say I was a redhead. When I was younger, it was white blonde just like Gina Harlow. And then, of course, as I grew up, it got darker as it usually does. So I was a natural brunette, if you must know. I also have blue eyes, but you can't tell at the time because they're half open. There are even rumors about that, and I was in color films. But people say Technicolor used to paint my eyes blue because they thought it would sell more pictures. Everybody's got their own opinions of 
about what I am. I kind of just let everyone else pretend that I am what they want me to be. It's really when they get to know the real me that it all falls apart. But it's not my fault. I didn't tell them what color my eyes weren't. I always try to be honest with people. And if I don't have anything nice to say, I just don't say anything at all. It's pretty hard to live a life and not have any scars. I think everyone has one. And every scar is a story. So I've never tried to hide mine except once. When I had appendicitis, I had to have an appendectomy. I even wrote a letter to my doctor, begging him to please not make my scar very big. And back then, scars were serious business. As you can tell by my gallbladder surgery scar. You can see it in a couple of pictures taken by Bert Stern. And right here, where I had roses, and I was holding them against me. How far medicine has come since then. But by then I had really grown to accept my body. And I really loved all its little marks and bumps and bruises. So I was proud of it. And when I did my swimming scene, and I was not wearing anything but a tiny bathing suit for a minute, I was proud because there were a lot of girls dressing up like me and trying to look like me. I said, they can all try to dress up like me. No one looks like me with their clothes off. At least that's what I was quoted to have said to the big bad wolf. Anyway, I never tried to hide my tonsillitis scar because it was inside where no one would see it. Unless they were my dentist, maybe. This graphic may help you understand the shape of my body a little bit more and why it's still pretty uncommon. It's my silhouette in front of the modern average. I'm not sure I'm abnormal, but I guess I'm different. I'm different, so okay. So there you have it. Now there's almost nothing about me you don't know. I wonder what will cover next though. You never know. I'm always surprising people. Maybe next week I'll give you Kitty's measurements. How long is your tail? So I'll see you next week.